ครับบอร์ดาอ่ะคริสโอยฮัสติงสเลวิดมาเวอร์เวอร์ยาวฟอร์ดเบอร์สอาลิสฟาซี Good morning um, and welcome to the uh, student president hustings for the Yale site, the Bersham Road site, and the l e s v a s i site. So we have a number of questions. We have two candidates here, k r o i s o welcome. And um, we have a number of questions that we'll ask you. Um, so the first question. So if you can go one by one, please. Yeah. Um, so the first question is: Question c o n t e a d i p a r i n w e t h e r s i n i c h n e i d c h i n e m g e s i d a d e l e m p l a t e l e s h o d r o s t o So, what qualities make you the candidate we should vote for? So, who's going to go first, Alicia? Yeah. Um, I believe that I'm like very like approachable person for stars, which I think is quite important having a role such as a president because people need to be able to feel comfortable to come to you and speak to you and give you ideas and things like that. I also find that I'm like not to toot my own horn here, but I'm very motivated and I'm you know quite hardworking. I tend to use all my free time to do other things like extra. Curricular things, which kind of shows how I, like, I will get things done. If I say I'll do it, I'll, I'll get it done. And um, also, I don't know. I just, I think I'm quite a nice person. I'm not one of those people that's kind of like you know, really like stands out when people are too nervous to come up to. So, yeah. Okay, great. Deal. Okay, Lewis. Um, well, I think I used to be an army cadet. In my spare time, so I think the qualities I brought over from there to here are quite paramount in my perspective because I learned leadership. I learned how to share in a circle in a sort of way because I could listen to people and then go and tell another person exactly what they said word for word. So, for example, being a student vice president in my campus now, I've helped multiple people with the mental health scheme that I've got running there. So, like I said, I've had a private chat with the person in question, and I've talked to high power to get it, get the ball rolling. So, I think I'm quite good with person to person contact. Okay, great deal. Thank you. Okay, question us our next question. So, s u p p o s e I'm in t h a t i c of Lowney p e t h e r How will you get things done? So, we'll start with you this time, Lewis. Okay, brilliant. Um, I think. What I would do with all campuses, really, in that I'll be running for, um, I'd ask what they want to be done. So obviously we've got the coronavirus, so what they think the, uh, they would improve on their campuses with. So maybe the fact that people aren't wearing their masks. So I get a, a scheme going to wear more masks and this sort of thing. Um, I make plans of what I want to do throughout the year and talk to the campuses and talk to each higher members of the campuses of what I want to do. A big plan of it. So. Okay, great. Thank you, Alicia. Um, what I do is obviously for stars, I bring up any points I'm given to the meetings, the campus council meetings, and from there, people will be able to vote and like maybe decide on how to make these suggestions or concerns easily worded into something that can then possibly be turned into a campaign. Um, but also, I find I hope this doesn't seem too um, aggressive, but I'm I'm quite good through pressuring sometimes. As an example, as you may see on my campaign video, I. Got as a Welsh teacher in my high school through persistently pressuring the teachers and telling them that we need one because we didn't have one for GCSE. So there's an example of me getting things done by pressuring, and then obviously also I will campaign and make plans like you always said as well throughout the year. So there's an easy guide for people to follow and they can see what I'm going to be doing and they can give me more suggestions based on those things. Okay, great, thank you. Okay. Right, question three. Um, basic energy, g n i g in a role. What you're going to bring to the table? Uh, I think I'm going to bring like a really positive attitude and a really like. I think I'm going to change, make a lot of change in the college. I think the the type of person I am is someone. If like if I want something done, and usually when people suggest things to me, I will usually agree with them. But they're just things I haven't noticed. But then when they bring it up, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So, like, I I will always get things done. Really, I don't really know how else to say it on the brings the table because we've already said other things and other questions. To be honest, but also a lot of experience, I'd say, I'll bring to it from a lot of my other different roles I have outside of college and my experience in high school and things. I'm going to use all of that as well to aid me in getting things done. Okay, great. Thank you, Lewis. Um, so. In high school, I was a student council all the way from seven to eleven. I was a prefect in year eleven. I was also the student ambassador for in year ten for my high school. 
Um, I attended the Military Preparation College and there I was not an ambassador for the college, but I was um, kind of like a high role. So I think bringing my experience with leadership, I'm quite a talkative person and also, like Lisa said, being a pressurised person in a way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think also my background through mental health, because in high school I helped a lot of people with mental health, uh, organising counsellors and these sort of things, and that's what I've done now because I'm the uh, mental health engagement officer, I think, that's it, yeah. I think that's my role right now, so uh, <laughs> just make it short. So yeah, um, I'm trying to, in my campus right now, I've helped a few people with mental health. I'm trying to express it to all campuses, not just the two in Maxim. Okay, thank you. Okay, next question. Okay. So, Bethy, beth yw'r mater cyntaf y byddwch chi'n ceisio datrys ar eich campusau? What's the first issue you will attempt to resolve on your campuses? It's going to go first this time. We should. Okay. Um, so kind of streaming off from what Lou said in the previous question about mental health, that's one of the main points of my campaign. I want to, because the thing is, a lot of the resources are already there to support people who need support and with mental health issues, but the problem is the access to it isn't as easy or it's not as straightforward. So I want to enable that and make it easier for people to access and make it easier for them to understand how they can get help and it's not scary and they're not on their own. Um, I've also, again, I promise I'm not going to I also have a lot of experience helping people with mental health, especially in high school. I used to um, run clubs that were open to everyone, not just people suffering with mental health, but with those people who were, um, I'd either get them connected to other teachers, because I know them through my own support I've had, or I'd help them in other ways. So, like, for example, we have a student with his dyslexia, and we teach them how to spell words and things, using different, like, methods and that. But, but yeah, one of my first things I will try and attempt to resolve is how, like, the access to mental health support. Because, yeah, it's there, but not many people know that it's there on how to get it. Okay, thank you. Lewis? Um, sorry, just reading the question. <laughs> Your first issue you'll attempt to resolve. Right. Um, I know from experience with my campus, I don't know about any of the other campuses, I need to get gather more information on that. But with my campus, it's the coronavirus. I can't resolve the coronavirus, but I want to improve how we deal with the coronavirus on my campus. Um, because obviously, for Colour Cambria standards, it's a pretty small campus, it's pretty compact, really. So I want to open up more hand sanitizer stations and more areas for people to sit outside in their bubbles, if so. But right now, we can't really sit in the bubbles. But in the future, when we can, I want to open more areas for tables and outside seating. Um, and obviously, the second thing is what I'm already doing now, which is mental health through the whole of the campus. Okay, thank you. Great. Okay, right. Question five. Pam, why do you want to be student president? Okay, we'll go with Lewis first this time. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I can't really explain why I want to be student president. It's just a thing that I need to be student president. It fits my role perfectly. I don't need to sound very egotistical here, but it really does fit my role. And um, I know with the being student president, I can do a lot with that, not just beneficial for myself, but for students. Uh, with obviously mental health is a thing that I really want to inverse with the college. Good. Thank you. Alicia? Um, there's a few reasons why I want to be the, the student president. The first one, which is the most obvious, I think, is because I know I'm capable of it. Like, and I know I'm definitely capable of making change and making people happy. But also, a really quick little story is, I wouldn't be here, usually, because when I was originally voted to be the student rep, I lost by a vote. So I was never even a student rep, which never would have got me this far, obviously. But then the girl dropped out. And I got that role. And now I've somehow, I've somehow worked my way up from that to where I am now. And I think if anything, this is meant to be really, because if I made it this far when it originally would never have happened, I think, you know, if everything falls into place, I think I'm probably the best candidate for it. And, you know, and I, think, I, think, I think I'd be really good at it and I know I would as well. So yeah, that's, that's my answer. Okay, thank you. And I think this is the last question now. Um, so, Beth, for the Hine Boyn High Angeline Abod and Slawid Mavarir, what would you enjoy about being a student president? Um, yeah, go on, Alicia, you go first. I think I'd enjoy the responsibility, weirdly. Because I know a lot of people don't really like that because of the passion things, but I like that because it kind of gives me, not to get all really like, you know, into certain, but it kind of gives me a purpose in a way, really. 
because I find a lot of time in the college I'm quite I wouldn't say bored but I have quite a lot of free lessons and when I finish doing all my work and all my other stuff I don't really got much to do so if I was a person it helped me fill my time more I could get more campaigns started off I could you know I can do it now anyway as the vice president which I do but I have more of a reason to then if that makes sense so you know I think I'm going to really enjoy having all my time filled up really and being able to help people and then witness change as it goes on gradually that, that's why I think I enjoy it. Okay, they are. Thank you, Lewis. Um, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I think the power to be in the president because I know that with that role, I can do a lot with the role. And I got at home, I've got a, a notebook in a, in a way, like a little, little pad of things that I want to change in not only my campuses, but from what I've heard about other people from other campuses. And I know with my role, I can then gather more information about the subjects of that, that I've written down and see if it's similar with every other person. Um, I'd like to have more involvement with the student voice program. I'd love more campus council reps and student reps to get involved. So it just fills up the spaces in each campus. And so I, I have more of like a crew if, if, in a way to communicate with. Okay, great. And I think that's the last question from both of you. Thank you very much. I hope it wasn't too painful. I don't think it was, was it? Um, and thank you for your